Welcome to the OLV Day, the Reflection, for Thursday, May 13th. Today, the Universal Church celebrates the feast day of Our Lady of Fatima. Between May the 13th and October 13th of 1917, three Portuguese children received apparitions of Our Lady near the city of Fatima, which is 110 miles north of Lisbon. The Blessed Virgin Mary asked the children to pray the rosary for world peace so that the world, world War I may come to an end. She also asked that they pray for sinners and for the conversion of Russia. The Blessed Virgin Mary in these encounters also gave the children three secrets. Following the deaths of two of the children, the remaining child, Lucia, revealed the first secret in 1927. It, converted, it concerned devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Eventually, the second secret was shared as well. It was a vision of hell. And when Lucia, the remaining child, grew up, she became a Carmelite nun, and she died in 2005 at the age of 97. Finally, the third secret was given to the world. St. John Paul II directed the Holy See Secretary of State to reveal the third secret in 2000. It spoke of a bishop in white who was shot by a group of soldiers who fired bullets and arrows into him. Many people link this vision to the assassination attempt against St. John Paul II in St. Peter's Square on May 13, 1981. The Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith prepared a document explaining the third secret to help people better understand how this is to help and guide their faith. But this particular feast day of Our Lady of Fatima was approved by the local bishop in 1930 and was eventually added to the church's worldwide calendar in 2002. And this universal adoption by the church pointed to the fact that the, mes the message of Fatima was important for all of us. We all needed to pray. We all needed to pray for peace. And we all needed to pray for the conversion of sinners and ensure that we are striving always to grow closer to the Blessed Virgin Mary's Son, Jesus Christ. And yes, the three secrets of Our Lady of Fatima get a lot of attention because of their implications for the church and world. But if all of us live our lives devoted to prayer, to our loving God, and for the intercession of the world, there's nothing we need to be afraid of in this world. There's nothing that truly has power over us. So in honor of this feast day of Our Lady, the church gives us a very short gospel passage for our reflection. It comes from the 11th chapter of St. Luke's Gospel. It reads, while Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breast at which you nursed. He replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Even though the knowledge given by Our Lady of Fatima has been very important to the lives of many throughout this last hundred years, there is never to be a substitute for the words of Jesus Christ in his salvific mission. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we as the church have been given everything we need to bring forth the kingdom of God. So any other knowledge gained through the events of Fatima or any other event that's officially sanctioned by the church will only help us to cling more tightly to what has already been revealed by the church. And finally today, this feast day reminds us of the importance and power of the Blessed Virgin Mary. She is our advocate, she is a model of faith, and she is truly our mother. But we have to remember that these roles of the Blessed Virgin Mary are only made possible in light of the revelation of Jesus Christ, her son. She is important because she gave us our Savior. So our personal devotions to Mary will always help us to better understand how we can have a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ. Because our intercessions, our imitations of Mary, will help us to have deeper trust, faith, 
and a willingness to make personal sacrifices in order to follow Christ. Because Mary was the first disciple of Jesus Christ. And by our devotion to her, we are called to be disciples of Jesus in the same way. Through the gift of the entirety of our lives, no matter what this may mean. So, Our Lady of Fatima's message of prayer is one all of us should take seriously in our own lives. And also just the Blessed Virgin Mary's deep faith, deep trust, and deep following of Jesus and all she said and do, hopefully can also inspire us as we live out our lives, especially during this Easter season. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us.